sure doesn't feel like spring. Definitely doesn't. Well, anyway, spring is now here, and that means boating season is kicking off. ABC 15's Amanda Kinseth is live at Harbor Gate Marina in North Myrtle Beach with boating safety tips. If you plan on hitting the water, probably not today, but pretty soon, right? <laughs> maybe later today, not maybe this morning, though. It's a little chilly, but oh my gosh, beautiful weather last week and going in. I mean, it's spring. Everybody's getting ready, getting that boat out, and there's a lot of things that you need to think about and do before you actually hit the water, right, Karen? That's right. You got to be ready. You don't want to get out there and have your day ruined by not being ready. Yes. So let's talk about these. These are very important. That's right. Life jackets, you know, it cannot be overstated how many times I can tell you that you need to wear a life jacket. And there's so many different types of life jackets now. They make them really lightweight and even fashionable, you know, but the important thing is just that you have one that's going to work for you. And this is just your standard life jacket that you want to have on all your boats. And you want to make sure that you have one life jacket for every person that you're going to have on board. Right. And you want to make sure that it does fit properly on you and strap nicely in. And there's life jackets for all ages of people from infant size all the way up to granddaddy size. Yeah, so. there really is. I mean, all the way, this is, you know, the small one for the babies. And then, of course, you have the cute... Dora the Explorer. These are nice too because they hold the child's head up. That's right. That's right. And they make them really cute too so the kids want to wear them. And you know the best way to get your kids to wear a life jacket is for you to wear one. Sure. Set a good example for them. You know you want to make sure and keep your family safe out there and you've got to set the good example. So do the things you need to do to keep your family safe out there and wear your life jacket so the kids will too. Make it, it a fun part of boating. Yeah, it really is important and you never know when you might go into the water so it's always good to have one of these on. Especially right. if Karen pushes me in. Don't do that. Please don't do that. <laughs> Back to you. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be a little chilly out yeah. there for Amanda. No, thank you. <laughs> Even though she is awfully prepared with her um, safety was no. life jacket. With her life hey, jacket and all her layers. Yeah, all She's her prepared. Layers. Yeah, Freedom Boat Club is hosting a new grand opening and its new office this Thursday from noon until 7 o'clock. It's at 3508 Highway 9 East in Little River. Well, this time of year, you will start noticing more boats out on the water. That's why safety officials want you to be prepared anytime you plan on boating. ABC 15's Amanda Kinseth is live at Harbor Gate Marina in North Myrtle Beach with some safety tips. Good morning. Good morning, that's right, and I'm with Bradley, the mechanic out here for the Freedom Boat Club. Right. And let's come on back here and show people some of the stuff they need to be aware of and cautious about. Um, first things is the propeller. Normally, people don't see it because it's in the water, and they don't pay attention to it as much. Um, for people entering and exiting the boat, they can jump off and actually hurt themselves even if the motor's not running. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you can see those are sharp. They're sharp. They're sharp edges on the corners all around it. Um, so if we come up here, when you trim the motor down, you can actually see it disappear. It disappears. This is where people don't pay attention to it because it's in the water. Right, absolutely. Um, no, one of the other things that safety with the prop when we start this engine, uh -huh. the, every boat has an emergency stop lanyard on it. That way, if there was anything to go wrong, say anywhere near the propeller or somebody were to get hurt, you can actually pull this lanyard and the motor stops. Yeah. So sense. if you were to get in trouble, you're able to pull that off and get yourself out of trouble quickly. Okay, that's good to do. And should you clip that on you or anything? You can, you can clip it on you. It comes with a little clip here that you can clip on a belt loop or on a life jacket. If you put your life jacket on like you're supposed to anyway, you can clip it on your life jacket. Right. But okay. now, as you can see too, the motor... Oh, it won't even start. Won't you even have start that in there. With that in there. Very nice. Any other uh, quick tips for people going out? Uh, that's one of our main things we get called on is somebody not having that lanyard on <laughs> and go to start their motor and wondering why it won't start. So that's a simple thing to check that first thing before you go out. If you don't have that, your motor will not let you run. Get yes. away from the dock. Yes, just like turning on the computer. You gotta have to that's right. the boat. Some good tips for you this morning out here with the Freedom Boat Club, guys. Fantastic. And the Freedom Boat Club is hosting a grand opening this Thursday at its new office. Everyone's invited to go check it out from noon until 7. It's at 3508 Highway 9 East in Little River. That means boating season is kicking off. ABC 15's Amanda Kinseth is live at Harbor Gate Marina in North Myrtle Beach learning about boating safety tips. Good morning. 
Good morning. That's right. There's a lot to think about when you uh, go out on the boat and things to get ready and things to have on the boat too. And you guys here at the Freedom Boat Club make sure that everybody's prepared. You even set them up with a boat and a plan and everything, right? That's right. Well, you want to make sure that someone definitely knows where you're going boating and when you plan to return and all that kind of good stuff. So it's good to create a float plan in the beginning. And if you do change your float plan in the middle of the day, you want to make sure and call the person that you gave your information to and let them know. But before before you even head out, you want to make sure that you have all the safety gear that you need. So Freedom Boat Club does do a little checklist with our members before we go out. And a good idea for anybody to have on their own exactly, boat too, right? Exactly. I mean, this is just a good way to make sure that you don't miss anything. And some of the things that we have on our checklist are a dock pole. This is a really good tool to use if you're um, docking on your own or even if you're not, if you're the first mate and you got to help the docking along, if you come too close to something, you can kind of fend yourself off with the dock pole. Or you can also uh, use this hook on the end of it. If you get close to the, enough to the dock to one of the cleats, you can pull yourself in. So you definitely always want to make sure you have a dock pull with you. And then we also have some other things inside of here that you want to take with you. We have a first aid kit. It's, right, always you know, important to have. Necessities that you need. And um, then you also should always have flares with you. Um, we always tell our members, you know, that make sure that when you use them, it's in an emergency situation and not for fireworks or anything like that. <laughs> not to know? party on the boat? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> but, you know, you do want to make sure if you have to use a flare that someone's going to be in sight that will see it, at, you know, another vessel, someone on the beach, a, an airplane, someone that's in sight that'll actually see that. Right. These are good to have in an emergency, too. So just have your boat well stocked. And uh, the checklist is a good idea for anybody going out on the water. Back to you. Yeah, some good tips right there. The Freedom Boat Club is hosting a grand opening at its new office this Thursday from noon until 7 o'clock. Everyone's welcome to learn more about FBC and their new office is at 3508 Highway 9 East in Little River. Switching gears. Yeah, switching gears. This time of year, you'll start noticing more boats out on the water. And that's why safety officials want you to be prepared anytime you go boating. ABC 15's Amanda Kinseth is live at Harbor Gate Marina in North Myrtle Beach with some safety tips. Good morning. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Karen's coaching me through here. So what are we going to do? What we're going to do is get you behind the helm and show you, like, if you're boating on your own, how you can get this boat back in okay. without any trouble. So the motor is started. I'm going to untie it here. Oh, great. You're just going to cut me loose in here. <laughs> yep. We're pushing you out, too. Ah! So what I want you to do now, if it's a really windy day and the current's really strong, you might have trouble getting in. So. Uh -huh. Put the boat in reverse. Okay. Turn the steering wheel all the way towards the dock. You know it's been a really long time since Squeeze I've been in the boat, right? Button. <laughs> Put on the handle. No, oh, there it is. All there right. There you go. <laughs> now push it backwards. There you go. Now turn the steering wheel all the way towards the dock. And look at it. It's coming in nice and neatly. <laughs> <laughs> All on your own without any help from anyone else. So, well, so far we're going well, right? Yeah. Now just put it back in neutral. And there you are. Right it back in. On the dock. Yay! So. <laughs> I didn't even know you were going to make me do that. Uh, she I was like, a little that. panic there, but see, you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> and uh, we encourage women boaters too. So, you know, yes. we, we want to get all the women, anyone out here that wants to boat with Freedom Boat Club, we'll teach them whatever they need to know out here. But that's an old sailor trick. Yeah, that's great. I mean, it works real well. And then you, um, we saw too, I don't know where it is, but you know, you've got the, the tool that you can use to grab and pull exactly. in. And then of course you have the rope too. Usually you have somebody over here on the dock that can exactly. help out too. And then when you're stepping off, you want to be careful too. Grab a hold of this line and you can just wrap it around that cleat right there. And before you get off, just kind of wrap it around a little bit. And that gives you kind of a hook on it. And then hold on to that as you're kind of stepping off to the boat. And that way you don't lose the boat or yourself. Right. And then uh, my favorite is to watch Karen uh, do this because she is so super quick. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could do it one handed like I've seen. But this is a nice nautical note, knot that you can use to hold your boat in place. The idea with nautical knots is that they'll hold firmly, but also that they come loose quickly so you can get the boat undone if you need to in kind of a hurry. So. <laughs> Nice. Well, thank you for all the safety tips this morning. Of course, we talked about how important life jackets are and then to have that, you know, box full of your first aid kit and everything else you need. And how about high five for not crashing the boat? Yay. The director got in my ear and said this was an expensive live shot for you guys. <laughs> he had zero confidence, but I pulled it off. You did it. I knew you could. <laughs> Back to you.
<laughs> yeah, she could do it all. We know Amanda. We know better. And now that she knows how to boat, how about we just all go out and boat? I will I jump mean, on Amanda's boat, no problem. Yeah, and if you're a fan, Freedom Boat Club is hosting a grand opening at its new office this Thursday from noon until 7 o'clock. Everyone's welcome to learn more about the club and check out the new office there at 3508 Highway 9 East in Little River.